Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Lucky Wolf and today I'm playing some more VGC Regulation H on Scarlet and Violet, all on in, in Scarlet and Violet. And today I have a team brought to you by Mr. Kurt. Mr. Kurt does stream, so I'll be linking them in the description down below. So please make sure to check that out. I would very much appreciate it. And we are going to be using Sceptile. We are, in fact, going to be using Sceptile, Unburdened Sceptile, with Swag or Grimmsnarl. So how ideally this plays out is I lead Grimmsnarl and I lead Sceptile. Then I click the Swagger button onto my opponent, preferably a special attacker. So that way their physical attack increases, but they're confused. Then my Mirror Herb activates. The Sceptile gets plus two attack from the Swagger. And then we also get our un Unburden boost, so we will be speedy. Um, and then we just get to go for, oh, hell, oh. <laughs> Hi, Isley! Sorry, my doggie just came in, and yep, she came in to boot me, and then she just left. Um, so then we can hit him with the big leaf blade, with the boosted acrobats, because we will have consumed our item, and without rage. So I'm very excited. I, sometimes one of those Pokemon, just never really got a chance to shine in earlier regulations, so I really hope that I can kind of do Sceptile justice here. We also have the Malamar. Yes, we do have the Malamar with Contrary, Superpower. So what we do with Malamar is we click the Superpower button, and then we increase our attack and our defense because of the Contrary. So that's very cool as well. We also have Psycho Cut and the Night Slash, and we do have the Fire Water Grass Core. We have Primarina with Throat Spray and Calm Mind, as well as Choice Band Hisuian Arcanine. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. I'm still a little bit under the weather today. And then we do have a Lumberry Corviknight to round out the squad. So I'm very, very excited for to to use this team. Primarina is another Pokemon. Uh, there are some favorites on here for sure. Primarina and Corviknight both are just personal favorites of mine. I think I think this could be a format where Primarina can really shine as well. So without further ado, let's hop into some games. Alrighty! Yo! We have a Regulation H team! Sorry, this is my second time searching. The first time I searched, we matched with a very not Regulation H team. Whoa! A very cool team from my opponent. Okay. We do see the Embor. We do see the Sylveon. I think Sylveon is going to absolutely be screaming back into the meta in Regulation H. Excuse me. In Regulation H. But I do think... I kind of think I can do this. They don't have a, it's, they have a bit of a slower team, but I don't believe they have a trick room setter unless I am very much misunderstanding something. I don't believe they have a trick room setter. I think we go prim. This is actually a tough one. This is definitely a tough one. I am worried about the Annihilate. I'm definitely worried about the Annihilate. Oh my gosh, sorry. I just want to check the summary here. Parting, okay, yeah. Nothing that helps with the Annihilate. So the Annihilate is very, very scary in this matchup. I do think we, we, have, a, we have a bit of a troublesome Annihilate matchup, to say the least. I got it in, I swear. I know it said zero, zero, colon, zero, zero, but I know I got that in. Okay. This is a very cool team, though, for my opponent. I'm really curious what Embor can do. Um, I know Embor can pump out a lot of damage. I know it's a slower Pokemon as well. Neither my opponent or me really have very much speed control that I can tell on our teams. Okay. They, they go the double poison lead. Which is not great for my grass type. But I, I'm gonna click the swagger button. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Um, I could go... I don't think I want to go flying type, though. I don't think I want to go flying type. Yep. 
Yeah, I don't want to go flying type because then I will become weak to the possible um, rock type moves that could be coming out from this Glamora. So we do get the swagger off. I believe this is going to work how I think it's going to work, right? Okay, good. Just making sure. I just wanted to make sure I understood how the, the, how that interaction was going to work, but that is how it works. They are not Sash. I take their Venusaur. Thank you. And what does Glamora do here? They actually are going to hit themselves. Fantastic. That mwah, mwah, mwah. turn one could not have gone better. Love to see it. Absolutely love to see it. Now, that's a problem. No, we don't love that. Hmm. I think I just have to hit Leaf Blade. Again, I like genuinely this Grim Snarl. The only thing this Grim Snarl is going to do is going to boost that Annihilate. So, in that case, maybe I try to get Primarina in. Maybe I try to get Primarina in. I'm already faster than everything. So I can click Parting Shot. I can click the Parting Shot. They could Terra here. Increase crit chance from the Leaf Blade as well. I do think here's where I go Terra Flying, though. I'm going to click Terra Flying, and I'm going to click Acrobatics. I think... I could maybe Detect. I could also maybe Parting Shot Detect here to see if they want to rip the Terra. However, if they are the Bulk Up set, I don't necessarily want to give them a Bulk Up, a turn to Bulk Up. They do not Terra. Okay, I get my little parting shot off. So that feels good. I'm going to bring in... This could actually be a time for Malamar. This really could be a time for Malamar to come in here. But I'm gonna go Primarina. I'm gonna go with the Primarina here, I think. And I'm really curious to see how much our acrobatics does now that we are Terra flying. That's a clean KO. That right there, plus two, stab Terra flying. That's a clean KO right there, baby. Let's go. Okay. Let's see what the Glamora does. This up spikes. Okay, not the worst case. Absolutely not the worst case here. That will mean, maybe I should have brought the Malamar in, however, because that will mean Sash is broken when we do bring the Malamar in, because we will get poisoned. Correct. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. So this, I actually think I should have brought Malamar in. I do think I probably should have brought the Malamar in. I guess the question is, do I care if I boost them? Like, I can click, I could also click Calm Mind. That might be getting a little too spicy, but I'm going to click Calm Mind. I think they have to tear their Gastrodon here. I could click Calm Mind to protect, or detect, but I think I just keep my foot on the gas. And I say, if you Terra, then you Terra. Yeah, I say, if you Terra, then you Terra. And they are gonna Terra, but I think the Calm Mind feels good here. They have two special attackers out on the board. Oh! That's gonna be a... That's gonna be a double take from me, okay. Not who acted as a terror, so this should be a protect. Okay. Poor Gastron makes the wah sound. Okay. And set that a confusion. Yep, absolutely fair. They click the sludge bomb button. That actually does good damage, but they were minus one from the parting shot. We get to click Calm Mind. And now I just get to click Leaf Blade again. Yeah. Okay. I just get to blast them moonily and blade them lethally, and they're gonna cancel. That makes sense! Let's go! Yo, another really cool team. I'm a little bit sad we didn't get to see the Embor do anything, as I, I, uh, Embor, I just want Embor to get love, you know? Embor has a fantastic shiny, and I just want Embor to have a little bit, get a little bit of love, but let's hop into a game too.
Alrighty. Okay, okay, let's go, let's go! Sam does have a reg H team! Yay! Sorry, so I did find another, in between game one and this game, I did find another non reg H team. So I'm just getting, I'm just getting a little bit hyped. So right now we're two for two. I found two non reg H teams and two reg H teams. So that's not bad. Honestly, all things considered, on the casual ladder, that is not bad at all. Okay. This is definitely, this is a fairly hard trick room team. Triple dark type. We got that massive triple dark type. Huh. This one I am quite scared about, but you, you know what? You know what? This might be a Malamar game. I'm just, we don't have the best answers into a Moongus, which is a little bit troublesome for sure. A little bit troublesome for sure. I wonder if I can still lead these two, though. I actually think... Grim is almost helpful here, but I... Uh... It's really tough because this Grim set, you cannot touch. It's a little tough. Because with this Grim set, you can't really touch any Pokemon that have, um, like, competitive or, um, contrary or defiant. Like, all this Grim only runs moves that lower a stat. Uh, like, like, tr like, really and truly. So that's definitely, um, if you are looking to use the team or build around this, um, that is definitely something to keep in mind. Okay, I don't hate this. I absolutely don't hate this. Also, I will say, Mr. Kurt flex in the shinies. We love to see it. They get an attack boost. That's already fantastic for us. I'm going to superpower and calm mind. Actually, I didn't go into the grim spot, to be honest. Yeah. Yep. Again, I think it's the Amoongus that's going to give us a lot of trouble here. We don't have anything that is immune- Well, sorry, we have one Mon that is immune to Amoongus. Okay, that's fair enough. We have one Mon that is immune to Amoongus, um, but no defensive Terra Grass or Taunt or anything like that. That actually did a ton! Whoa! Hello! That did so much- Oh, you actually Ice Beam. I did not expect that. Okay. 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 Let's see if they go Terra Ghost here. Let's see if they want to do a spicy little Terra Ghost. So I'm gonna click it again. I could go Psycho Cut or Night Slash. It's just difficult not knowing their Terra here. Definitely difficult not knowing their Terra. Sorry, we actually do have a defensive Terra Grass. What am I even talking about? What am I even talking about? So I click Super Pep. Mm. I click Super Power and Calm Mind. Again, I think. Okay, what's coming in here? Are they going Terra? Okay, that's a Moogus. Yeah, yeah, got you, got you, got you. Okay. I wish I clicked Psycho Cut, but that would have been absolutely mad there, I think. Oh, I should have doubled that Porygon. Oh, I should have clicked the attack move. I should double the Porygon there. This is not the end of the world. I'm at plus two. I'm at plus two here. So that feels pretty good. Yeah. Okay, I should, I should have doubled. I should have doubled up. I think the game would have been won if I... Either if I doubled up or I Terra'd. I'm at plus two, plus two, though. So that does not feel like the worst case in the world. Oh, I wish I, 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 wish I clicked the attack move there. I actually was, because I was wondering if they set up Reflect. My only thought was, one, if they Terra'd, two, if they set up Reflect, if I was going to KO. So we get to go our little Terra Grass here. We protect the Malamar. Oh, they have the clear smog. Oh, they got me. I should have attacked with my Malamar then. 
I absolutely should have attacked with my Malamar. Yeah, see, see, that didn't KO. We do got a Throat Spray at the very least, which is good. I need to recover, okay. I'm gonna click Psycho Cut here. And Moonblast the Porygon too, I think. So we are still at plus one. We are still at plus one here. That was a really, really nice turn from them. What? No Spore? No Spore? Okay, so far I use my Terra horribly, but I still think this might be okay. I got my little Psycho cut off. Amoongus gone, what? I really feel like my opponent should have this. I think that's gonna be a really big turning point in the game. I do think that's gonna be a very, very big turning point in the game. Like, maybe they think I'm Goggles? But if I'm Goggles, I would always protect there, right? Okay, but plus two, plus two, two more turns of Trick Room. And what do I have when we're out of Trick Room? Um, okay. Not the worst case. We know that they have a- we know that they have a Hurt Grim Snarl. So I'm gonna d mm. Do I double protect here? Huh. I really d uh, Okay, I'm gonna see if they Terra, which they do. So I click the double protect here. Just to make sure I don't have a wasted- just to make sure I don't have a wasted turn into a Terra. They're Terra Grass, okay. I do have Acrobatics, I do have Acrobatics in the back, so it doesn't feel like the worst case. They really do not want to be hit by a Moongus, they're like, mm-mm, no, no, no. We do click our little Dull Protect, but maybe that was the turn to not protect because their burn hadn't activated yet. I did not know that Pokemon got Seed Bomb. I know Calyrex Ice Rider gets Seed Bomb. I did not know Ursaluna got Seed Bomb. Okay. I think I always super power here. And Moonblast for a little bit of chip damage, I think. Because now, if they want to guarantee their Trick Room up, I think they have to recover. Again, if they want to guarantee their Trick Room up again, I think they have to recover. I just... Uh, I don't really understand. Let's see, I have it plus two. And they don't double in. Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. We get a Moonblast for one day. Actually, crit? No, just does that much. Yeah, so going, so getting my plus two defense boost kind of went insane there. Went absolutely insane there. Holy cow. Okay, that's fantastic. Now they cannot set Trick Room up. I actually got a lot of decent chip damage on this Ursa Luna. So this is an odd game, right? I really feel like my opponent had... I feel like I played the first couple turns fine. Um, but I think my opponent really had an opportunity to kind of turn the tides of the game. And they didn't quite take it. That's kind of what... It, like, this one more feels like... Okay, I don't know if they... So I don't know if they have fake out. Well, we saw no. We only saw one screen. We only saw one screen. Um, but I, I so I'm just gonna protect my Malamar because I don't want to lose my Malamar here. Um, and I am gonna click Moonblast into the Grim Snarl. Um, but they actually do have the fake out, so I'm very happy I protected. Because I think they always fake out the Malamar there. Um, uh, like, again, I don't think I played this game horribly, but my opponent. Called my terra, called my protect and my terra grass. I mean, you don't have to call the terra grass to click clear smog there. Um, I just think that that was a incredible turn for them. I just think that was a really, really incredible turn for them. But I didn't feel like they quite capitalized as much as they could have from it because that really could have been a turning point. But I, I think I played this game okay, and and I think we are gonna get this game from here. I'm just gonna click superpower again. Who do I reveal? Let's reveal a septile. Let's do it.
but very, very close game and really cool team for my opponent. I could click Outrage just for funsies, and I am gonna do it. Get him. Just for funsies. <laughs> that did one! Oh my gosh, Septile Pain. Septile Pain! That did one! So, that is kind of a good note that Septile does kind of want that plus two boost. <laughs> Septile does kind of want that plus two boost to be able to do some damage, but really, really fun game. Well, pl well played to my opponent. They made some incredible, incredible calls with their Amoongus play. Uh, so let's just go ahead and jump into a game three, and please send me the good vibes. I hope we can run into a Reg H team first try. Technically, th fifth try, because this is my... F you know what I mean, you know what I mean, but I'll see you in game three. Yo, yo, Lucas Gaming out here. Okay, we have a Regulation H team, so I, I'm still going, I'm still doing my one for one. We had, I matched into somebody with a, ver a very not Reg H team, but Lucas is cooking. I am scared. I am very, very scared of this team. We have two middle forms on this team. And a Vicable. Kind of a missed opportunity to, to, to just make it three middle forms and have charge a bus. Like, two, two all aboard the charge a bus. Okay. Um, there's a lot of physical attackers, but I just want to do this again. Is that so wrong? Is that so wrong? No, it should, like, probably be... I feel like this. Because I can parting shot to protect... I can parting shot... To protect Malamar on the special side, and then start going for superpowers, and that feels like something I do want to click. Absolutely feels like something I do want to click. Um, if I have the Septile, sorry, if I have the Grimmsnarl, then I can probably bring the Septile here as well. And who do I want to round it out? Is there any reason I don't bring the Arcanine? I think I go Arcanine. That's that. This feels decently safe to me. I think. This feels decently safe, but we'll have to see. Honestly, searching for six games and getting three that are reg age teams really does not feel that bad, to be completely honest with you. Snorlax Vigavolt. Okay, okay. Are we four times weak to bug? I'm asking for a friend. We sure are! We sure are! You know, I'm gonna do it to him. I am truly gonna do it to him. I could spirit break. I really could spirit break here. I kind of want a parting shot, though. But then who wants to come in? Probably my Arcanine, yeah, yeah. Th that seems fine, actually. That seems fine. So then I get Arcanine in for the Intimidate. I click Super Power here. I Terra, so I'm not four times weak to the bug buzz or whatever bug type move Vigavolt could want to go for. I get to start boosting up my defenses. I think another, oh. <laughs> stop it. Malamar, chill out. The, the boxing glove on Malamar's head, I'm sorry, it looks insane. It's absolutely wild in the best way. But it like leans forward, it's like bah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. I'm sorry. Okay. I think something else that could be really cool on this team, we do have a couple different setup mons, so maybe something like an Amoongus that could heal up the setup mons would be really, really cool as well. We get a little superpower off. I'm very curious to see how much this does. Bop. That did all of it. That simply did all of it! They do click the bug buzz, yep. Now we resist that, so that honestly went perfectly. Another turn one that feels like it went fairly perfectly. Okay, this is just gonna be... I just wanna click superpower again, so I'm going to. And I'm gonna click rock slide. And that's what I'm gonna click. We do connect both rock slides, feels great. We are banded, stabbed, so the Vicavolt does go down there. Beep. I don't feel like Girder's living this. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't feel like Girder's living this. Bop. No. Okay. Oh, 
okay, okay. And the last mon is. And the last mon is. Arbok, okay. I'm gonna show off the Psycho Cut. They can always, they can always um, be Terra Dark, but I don't think it gets them anywhere. I just really don't think it gets them anywhere. We connect with the slide. Love to oop. Love to oop. Okay. Okay, well, we did take damage that game. I almost said we didn't take damage, but we actually did take damage that game. Okay, that was another very, very fast game, and even though it's taken me a while to find these Reg Age teams, what the hey, we're doing a fourth. Yo. Yo, okay. Two Reg Age teams in a row. We are absolutely gaming out here. This is a very, very cool team. I love uh, Ludicolo is another one of those mods. Ludicolo is another one of those mods. I think Ludicolo has good, like very good typing, swift swim and fake out, good, um, good type coverage as well. Like, this is very cool to see. Um, and by cool, I mean it's very hard. <laughs> this is this is this is definitely gonna be a toughie. This is definitely gonna be a toughie. So I'm gonna go Septile Grim here. I think Septile Grim is my best bet. I think Septile Grim is my best bet. Certainly. I'm kind of thinking, like, if they give me... If they give me... Rain, I'm thinking Pre-Marina, and maybe I'm just, like, kind of obsessed with this Malamar tech, but I think I want to go Malamar. Corviknight, I think a real case can be made for Corviknight here. Let me check the Corviknight set one more time. I think a real case could be made. We don't have... Mm, I'm just a little bit nervous about taking a lot of special damage. Which is really what it is. So I'm gonna click done here. I'm gonna click done. And we're gonna see what we can get. There are a lot of special attackers, so I'm really hoping that I can get my swagger shenanigans off pretty immediately. Okay. I am 100% going to do so. I'm gonna swagger and I'm gonna leaf blade here. We probably lose Grim. We probably lose Grim, but I think that this is just my best bet. It, it, it puts hacks in my favor as well. Like it puts them in a spot where um, they can get confused. We should take them down to Sash here. Because this is neutral damage as they are a water and flying type. We do get our little leaf blade. They are Sash, okay. That is, that is good information to have, so we know it's not helmet or cloak or something like that. Pelipper is confused, and Pelipper do does hit itself! Let's go! Okay. 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 So already not bad, and they do electro shot. Okay, so we are, I think, gonna lose our Grim Snarl here, which is not great. We, we, we do trade. We do trade here. If Grim's alive, I think I always parting shot this next turn, but- oh! Okay, never mind, okay. I'm gonna parting shot to put them back to neutral. Immediately, I think. That is Salamence? Okay. I could also Spirit Break. But I'm gonna parting shot. I kinda wanna parting shot Outrage. I could alternatively go scary face. I think it's what do I value more here? I think I'm gonna click scary face outrage. Okay, we got our scary face off. 
That doesn't... F that feels pretty decent here. I, so the reason I wanted to scary face that is I want to... Oh my gosh, we KO'd. We crit. We're at plus one, and it's super effective. I don't know if that mattered. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I just don't know. But I can... I still have Sash intact. This might come down to Are They Terra Fairy. This really might come down to Are They Terra Fairy. They're at plus two. Special attack. It's gotta be Malamar here, I think. There's the Looney. Okay. So I cannot protect my Sceptile. So they should go after my Sceptile here. Hmm. I can very easily still lose, I think. But let's see if they're Terra Fairy. If I target correctly. But I always protect here. I think I should have gone for the... I think I should have gone for Parting Shot there. I just wasn't convinced that it was gonna KO. And I still don't know if that crit mattered. Plus one, super effective, I just don't know. Okay, what's your Terra? <gasps> That's so cool! Oh my gosh! Okay, that's that's very cool because Ludicolo does get access. You can have a water move, an ice move, and um, a grass move. So honestly, the Stellar Terra makes total sense. That's not bad damage. I just wonder if that's a range. I wish I hit the other slot, but that's not bad. I'm very surprised they did not fake out though. Very surprised. Sash stays intact, though. They are life orb. Okay, that's good to know. Um, I wonder if I have to go Terra Fighting here. I might have to go Terra Fighting and boost myself up. I should I, I should click the Leaf Blade button. Sorry, not, not, not Leaf Blade. I should have just attacked there, I think, though. I'm gonna double into the bridge. I think doubling into the bridge is the correct play here, because I think it's the bridge that's gonna win them the game. I do think it's the bridge that's gonna win them the game. I just wish I knew, I might have to do a calc, I just wish I knew if the crit um, mattered. Energy ball, yep. They are Terra Stellar boosted. I don't know if we take this. We actually don't, oh, I'm very surprised. Okay, I'm very, very surprised we don't take that. Maybe I'm sleeping on Looney. It is Life Orb, too. We do get our superpower. They're at plus one. Let's see how much this does. Nah. Okay. That's gonna be game right there. That's gonna be game right there. Oh, we almost had him. We, like, I think if we, we had to target differently there, I think, as well. We definitely had to target differently there. I think it was just hard for us to keep up with their damage. It was really hard for us to just keep up with their damage output, I think. Rain one more turn. Okay. I mean, I always do protect here. Although Ludi should outspeed us. I'm also very, very surprised our Primarina didn't take that. I guess it is double stab. Energy ball, okay. Yeah, I think this one, I think this came down to the KOing the Salamence turn. I still think I always click, I still think I clicked the, the correct move there. Oh, we actually do outspeed. Okay, but it's not going to matter. We are going to make this one close, though. I'm surprised we outspeed the Ludi out of rain. Not being able to switch up the weathers was definitely a tough one as well. I think maybe we had a shot, but we had to KO. Really well played to my opponent. Uh, I think maybe we had a shot, but we had to KO the, um, we had to KO the, bridge with superpower. That's, and, uh, mm, 
I don't think the targeting mattered because I don't think we were going to one-shot anyway. I don't think we were going to one-shot anyway, but maybe if we spirit break? No, that doesn't help us. Hmm. That, 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 that's that's going to be a tough one. That's definitely going to be a tough one, but really, really well played to my opponent, and I'm going to see you in the rental code area. Really fun team here with the Sceptile, with the Malamar. I feel like I got to show off both the Sceptile and the Malamar, which are the two main parts of the team that I really did want to show off. And honestly, Malamar put in so much work, as did Sceptile. Genuinely, as did Sceptile. I think something that would be really cool on this team would maybe be something like an Amoongus that could heal up your setup mons once they are kind of set up, you know? Because we have the Malamar can boost its defense, and so something like a Pollen Puff would just make dealing with Malamar so difficult. I think that would be a really fun shout on a team like this. But once again, thank you to Mr. Kurt for sharing the team. I really do appreciate it. And if you did enjoy this content at any time, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, or subscribe. If not, if there's nothing none of that. And I hope everybody has an absolutely amazing rest of their day. Okay, that's it for me. Bye!